Hello YouTube, this is Python Cheese here. Um, tomorrow and over the weekend, I will be uploading my eBay stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna have time. I'm gonna have the time on tomorrow, especially. I'll have time. Uh, I only work, I think, like four or five hours. So, um, but uh, I wanted to show you guys this right here. I'm almost completed. Uh, I just installed the volume control just a couple minutes ago. Uh, the headphone jack. There's no volume control for the headphone jack, and it doesn't seem I tested it out, and it doesn't seem to need to be have need to have one. So, but there is a volume control for the speakers. Um, these are the A and B button. That's the A. That's the B. That's your start. That's your C pad. That's your D pad. Um, then you got your speakers here. Your right, and then your left. Um, the tech switch buttons for the screen. Uh, I may or may not be doing a. Uh, uh, I might take this screen out actually and replace it with a uh, seven-inch screen instead, and have it like a Nintendo DS, you know, so I can have a bigger screen because this is only 3.5 inch. And in my opinion, I don't really like 3.5 inch, but I may deal with it. It just depends on what I want to do, um, but uh, analog is next to be installed, you know, with the buttons and stuff. But uh, I got everything kind. Of, it's kind of a mess right now, as you guys can tell. It's kind of a messy area. You know, most of the stuff's kind of I pushed it out of the way. Um, but uh, the controller is right here. You know, it's all hooked up, all uh, soldered to the actual motherboard itself. Um, only thing that's not soldered right now is the D-pad, the C-pad, A and B, and uh, the uh, start button. Those are the only things that aren't... Oh yeah, and the speakers themselves aren't soldered uh, yet. I got them hooked up to the wire here, these uh, little alligator clips. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Uh, but here's the... I actually rewired the... Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys a little more up close for you. Uh, I don't know if yeah, you can see right here. I actually rewired this uh, little module, whatever it is, the uh, for the volume control. I soldered that little, this thing in here that's inside here. Uh, that green thing right there, that's actually this for the volume control. Um, but I rewired it all and hot glued it in place, so it's stuck there. Um, I also will hot wire these pliers down as well, you know, to help keep them out of the way. Um, but that was the only way I could actually physically fit it into this hole. I should have put the volume control on the side right here, but that's all right. Um, and then the headphone jack is right there as well, but there's no volume control for it. I don't know if, if I'm going to put one or not. But yeah, that's the motherboard. It's all turned down and stuff ready to go you know the jumper pack is right there um, I, my friend gave me an idea uh, be able to switch out between a jump pack and an expansion pack um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna try and look into it and maybe come up with a solution where you'd have like maybe a switch where in the middle or maybe just a two or three way switch you know Maybe middles off, right will be one, and the other, the left will be, a, you know, the other. Like a, like left would be like a jumper pack, the middle would be off, and then the right would be a, the expansion pack. But or you could probably just do a two-way switch. But the problem is with doing that, uh, you're gonna have to manually uh, solder this in here, so that'd be the issue. Uh, so that'd take a lot of time and I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not so but yeah that's what the board looks like and then the back you know it's still the same it's got I'm testing vigilante right now um you guys want to check this out real quick I've got everything labeled for me you know uh so I know what is what which wires are what so I can when I solder them together you know be really easy but yeah that's what it looks like in there right now it's kind of a you know mess but everything's pretty much hot glued down except for you know the c-pad the 
these buttons, the A and B, and this, uh, the uh, start button and the D-pad. And then every, all the wires will should be probably shortened down a little bit, maybe an inch or two. Once I get everything, you know, ready and put in there. Um, uh, but yeah, and I uh, got these done yesterday, actually. Uh, this is the uh, left bump. Yeah, the left bumper or whatever, or the uh, left button on like a Nintendo 64 controller, you know, left bumper or whatever. That's that. Um, you got your PS2 analog stick as the uh, uh, analog stick for the N64. I actually took off the uh, little tack switch right there and dremeled it all, dremeled it all off because there's no really use for it. Um, here is the. Uh, right bumper and then the Z button. I don't know if you can you guys can hear that clicking. But there's this just tack switches in there. I'm actually gonna be installing them like here on the side. So when you hold it you know you'll you'll have your fingers on them. So but yeah I'll be soldering everything, you know, all these little contacts on the here. Like that one right there on point two. That'll be a contact I probably solder to and Unless I can find, you know, closer spots towards the middle, if I can, if I do like a trace, basically. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this all hooked up. And yeah, the controller. I don't know if I mentioned the controller is actually soldered to the board itself. So, but yeah, all right. And then there's the batteries right here. So we're gonna get this thing hooked up and turn that over. All right, one second. <laughs> Gotta make sure nothing's you know touching. That's the power for the uh, screen there. Here, the red cable is your power. Black is always ground. And yellow is the signal for the video so it's all hooked up and then it's all grounded to the uh, thing here and then it's all grounded to the battery so but this is all the alligator clips you know that are hooked together worked ready to go and all I need is for this power right here I may be using these batteries it depends on how much space I have if I don't have enough space what I will do is up I, I might even you know put the 7 inch screen instead and get more powerful batteries while I'm at it you know these will do for now but you know I'd like to have better po more powerful and thinner batteries you know uh, like the I think the lithium polymer are the best ones out there but they're most dangerous because they can catch on fire and let me tell you yeah they catch fire <laughs> PS2 handheld for example caught on fire I did fix it though and that didn't really do too much damage, luckily. Um, but uh, let's go and hook this up. The uh, vigilante, vigilante or vigilante, however you want to say it, you know, eight is actually in there. This is actually when I liked Activision, you know, when they were good. I think it was Activision, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Activision that made the game. So yeah, here we go. Do the test. Trying to stand this up for you guys so you can kind of see. It's probably not safe to use that, so we'll just use this plastic so it's not conductive or anything. Well, maybe. Well, yeah, something like that. So, get that kind of out of the way. Alright, so take this and just hook it up for a taste test taste test. Just a test. If it doesn't come on then just unhook it, you know. Try really hooking on, maybe take the game out. Make sure everything's, you know, connected. Since it's not playing, what you gotta do is take the game out like a normal cartridge, you know, because that's how cartridges work. Oh yeah, let me turn on the volume just slightly. 
and you basically just keep pulling the cartridge. Will it go? No. All right. One more time. All right. Let's try this now. Cooperate. Cartridges always done this. Oh, there's some something wrong here. Let's see, make sure it's all connected. All right. Try rewiring this one. Make sure everything's not touching. Sorry about this. But, uh, turn that off for a second. Alright, that's connected. That, that, Alright. Oh, then there it goes. A little proof here that it does work. There you go. Might be too bright in here. I'll just give it. But yeah, that's the screen, you know. Turn it up a little bit. And then what I do here is I actually uh, use this little alligator clip, you know, since it's metal contact, you know. I just take this and uh, I just touch a contact on the controller and make it go to the next screen. So, go ahead and do that. And they both do work, both speakers. I know it's a little glitchy because it's not really connected that well. So, but, and then the cords are kind of too long too. So, that doesn't help as well. Um, but yeah, it does get pretty loud. So, I mean, you can turn it off. Use headphones as well. But you can have both on the same time, but, you know, if you're wanting to play with headphones or whatever, or just play with speakers, you know, it's up to you. But I'll, I'll show you the... These are, I think, 1 watt, uh, 8 ohms or something like that. They're not the best speakers, but... uh. You know, they were cheap. I think they're like two or three bucks a piece. And so, and they're great. They're real thin. And, you know, but they're a little wide. But, you know, I like because the thinner they are, you know, the smaller your portable be can become. So that really helps out. And they're more of a kind of a, not really a square, a rectangle shape. But I'll, sh here, I'll show you that real quick. I don't know if you guys can see it, as the speakers are kind of rectangular. But yeah, that's the demo that's playing right now. Show you the demo. Try and get a good angle for you. There you go. And then, if I can do it here. Uh, where's the alligator clip? There it is. And then when I click a button, it goes in the next screen, you know. And you click start. And you click A or start. It's kind of hard to do this when you're trying to pay attention to the computer, you know, see where you're aiming at. But yeah, so far the portable's gone great. Uh, the most expensive part, I'd probably have to say, uh, is uh, getting all the parts, you know. 
I have a couple N64s laying around. Uh, these are actually the uh, 1996 motherboard I have here that I'm using. And yes, the chips the chips do not have a uh, heat sink on them. They don't really get that hot, so I mean, I may put one on. Especially if you're not going to play long periods of time, but I may get one. Just touching them right now, they're kind of hot, but you know, N64 doesn't really get all that hot. So, unless you're playing the actual 64 bit games, because most N64 games are actually 32 bit, I believe. So, but it had 64 bit capabilities, and some games did use it to its advantage. So, but yeah. I also install on and off switch, which I'll probably be on the side, you know. Here, let me just do this real quick, turn that off. It'll probably be like on the sides, like like I said, I was gonna put the I should have put the volume controller right here, because then your hands aren't in the way as well, but I will put probably put one right here. So on one of the sides somewhere. If I can fit it in there. Actually I probably can't. So I'll probably just probably put it up top somewhere then or maybe on the bottom I don't know probably up top like the L the L buttons will be like the L button will be here the are not L the uh, left bumper and then the right bumper and then the Z button so but yeah that's my handheld uh, Nintendo 64 handheld how it's come along all that's left that I know of is the batteries and soldering the contacts and then putting the buttons on on the top here and the power switch to turn it on and off so but yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing hopefully I'm gonna finish it up this weekend so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe to my channel down below and thank you guys for watching again